This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Hindu. the political footsie the DMK and Congress were playing they have finally kissed and made up and we will uh, will go to the Tamil Nadu assembly elections as partners the Congress has its way with the DMK now willing to give them 63 seats and a news coming in Chief Minister Karuna Nidhi has come out saying it's a happy day for him now that they have reached a seat sharing agreement a very good evening I'm Divya and joining me on this very special bulletin is our executive editor Sanjay Pinto and our senior editor Radhika Iyer in our studios and my colleague Murli from the newsroom. First up the headlines now. DMK Congress deal finally shakes hands. DMK agrees to give Congress 63 seats. Congress will get 61 seats from the DMK and a seat each from the PMK and IUML. EC tells the Madras High Court the election dates cannot be changed as it will disrupt election procedure for the other four states. Meanwhile, the election plans for the opposition parties is nearing a closure. AI ADMK is likely to sign a deal with the left. Madras High Court grants interim anticipatory bail to Minister Jagat Raksha against children in a corruption case. With stadiums in India on high alert after LED reportedly threatened to blow up World Cup venues, security titan in Chennai's MA to Dumbrin State. And uh, we also stationed uh, some of our uh, security vans with uh, cameras mounted on them at strategic places. And let's also bring you the news making national. The Apex Court questions the government over the status report on Hassan Ali and suggests the case move forward to the CBI. Kapil Sibyl says there are differences in telecom industry and the need of the hour is to resolve these issues together. Moves to enforce a no-fly zone over Libya gather pace as Gaddafi's forces launch fierce attacks on areas held by rebels. After ticking off Dhoni for criticizing it, the ICC is forced to tweak the controversial 2.5 meter rule in the decision to well, the DMK and Congress deal is finally settled after days of intense standoff. With the Congress getting its way now, the much debated DMK Congress alliance is intact in Tamil Nadu. The DMK has agreed to give Congress the 63 seats it wanted, and sources are indicating that one seat will be taken away from the PMK and one from the Indian Union Muslim League, the IUML. Well, uh, the PMK was allotted 31 seats uh, by the ruling DMK, and the IUML was granted three seats. And it's over to Sanjay and Radhika now. Thank you, Divya. Uh, the Sonia Gandhi, it seems, had the last laugh. In fact, about uh, 50 hours ago, when the DMK uh, announced here from Chennai that they will withdraw support, everyone thought that the DMK was trying to arm twist the Congress government. But it seemed very clearly in the last uh, one day, in the last 24 hours, the Congress was the party which managed to get what it wanted. It did not budge and it clearly showed that when it comes to diplomacy, Sonia Gandhi was clearly on top of it. And considering the fact that the 2G scam was there right in the face for the DMK, we do not know what the exact trans, uh, transcripts of are of the phone conversation between Mr. Prana Mukherjee and Karuna Nidhi. But surely it wasn't just about three seats, it was much more and it turned out that the Congress actually managed to get what it wanted. NDTV Hindu's executive editor Sanjay Pinto is with us to share his thoughts. Thanks, Sanjay. As always, um, your initial thoughts and the reading on the fact that the drama that took place over the last three days, could the DMK have well done without this entire drama because it anyway gave away 63? It left, uh, it certainly left a lot of people wondering whether this whole drama lasting 72 hours, Radhika, was actually over two seats or 2G. That's the big question on everyone's mind now. But what this effectively means is that the DMK, given the number of seats it's conceded to the Congress, initially the DMK said that they were not going to make any climb down, that they were pretty rigid about that, 60 and no more. But now look at what has happened. They have made that climb down. They've parted with one extra seat from their own kitty, 61. They've also, in fact, remember that the IUML is contesting on the DMK symbol. So it's effectively they've given away two seats and one, of course, a portion from the other ally. So the DMK has made a climb down. The DMK will not be able to contest enough seats to form 
a government on its own if they are voted back to power so that minority tag will continue to haunt them. Also another interesting uh, point of view, the body language there of both uh, Dayanadi Maran and Mr. Allegri, Dayanadi Maran almost prompting Gulam Nabi Azad there uh, and uh, you know and I think he got one of the parties also wrong, uh, Gulam Nabi Azad mentioned actually better out TMC yes. if you notice that. Yes. Uh, but clearly it seems all is well in the camp and, and the, which is why Mr. Karunanadi has issued a statement saying that it's a happy day for him. The other day you were predicting that, you were wondering whether the smiles would last and apparently it had, they have lasted now. Yes. The big question now Radhika is whether power sharing because now obviously the DMK if they are voted back to power in a hypothetical situation cannot uh, really form a government on its own. Yes, so and that exactly was my next question. In fact, uh, Lokpriya uh, uh, joins us uh, live from Anna Arivalium. We will also play that uh, uh, uncut, in fact, the uh, little statement that Mr. Karunanidhi uh, gave out just a few moments ago where he says, of course, uh, predictably that it is a very happy day and it all ended very happily, uh, despite, of course, uh, uh, the fact that the DMK, in fact, gave away those 63 seats. The Congress may have got 63 seats, Sanjay. But then, is it really victory for the Congress Party, considering the bad blood that they have shared in the last uh, over the last three days, and of course over the last three months since the 2G scam broke out? Uh, it of course will be difficult to get the DMK cadre to vote for the Congress, and of course to work together towards uh, uh, making it indeed the winning alliance like uh, Dayanadi Maran would wish. See, this bad, bad blood has been on for almost five years. Uh, the Congress leaders, even from 2006, have been saying, look, I mean, you're sharing power with us at the center. Why can't you share power with us at the state? To which I remember a senior DMK leader, when I was covering the election then, the results then, said that, look, I mean, uh, uh, this is a quid pro quo for what's happening in Puducherry. We will back your government in Puducherry and you uh, sort of, and, and you support us here without really expecting a share in power. Uh, Congress leaders, in fact, were infuriated when they heard that analogy because that's such a small, it's a union territory, all of 30 seats there. And that's been a Congress bastion anyway for, for years, for decades on end. Uh, this time around, if you noticed, uh, both Dayanandi Maran and Alagiri were quite keen to actually get away from the media after just making the bare, you know, minimum announcements, not really willing to take questions. You saw those journalists trying to ask them about power sharing and for where the other numbers are going to come from, the, the, the other two seats, from which ally and specifically. Not clearly giving yeah, and then of course speaking in riddles, which is a typical Karunanandi style, to speak in riddles when inconvenient questions are asked. So he yes. said that the formula is, out of 234, they are contesting 63. So I think the big question now is whether the DMK has sort of informally agreed to share power in that hypothetical situation of them being swept back, coming back to power. Right. In fact, let's uh, pull up a graphic plaque which we have readied for uh, the benefit of our viewers, which clearly explains what really the uh, arithmetics of this entire alliance is going to be. 234 uh, uh, seats in total, of which the DMK likely to get about 120, 122 perhaps. Uh, with the Congress walking away with 63 seats, it seems that uh, the PMK uh, will get just 30 because uh, sources now almost confirming to us uh, it, it is likely to be official very soon, but of course, uh, sources in the DMK confirming to us that the PMK will let go of one seat and very importantly uh, uh, that the PMK would obviously want to let go of that one seat to make sure that the Congress is within their camp. See the PMK had made no bones about the fact that they prefer to stay in any alliance which the Congress is a part of. The PMK is actually they're very keen on the Rajya Sabha seat for Anubhamani Ramdas. That's that's been Dr. Ramdas's goal for a very long time and even in that uh, interview uh, on our show Corridors of Power Anbhumani Ramdas made it very clear that he would remain with the Congress, whichever alliance the Congress is a part of. Also, it's a question of the Allies realizing that it's not really the number of seats that you contest, but the number of seats that you're likely to win. Okay. And you're much, you're, 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 there's a greater possibility of winning uh, more seats if you're in an alliance with the Congress with a larger coalition, a uh, larger formation there. That's right. In fact, let's just listen in to what uh, Mr. Karunanidhi spoke soon after he got to know news from his colleagues in New Delhi that the party is back with the Congress. என்னை பற்றி அரிய துணிப்போர்களுக்கு வசதியாக திராவிட முன்னேற்ற கழகத்திற்கு நூத்தி இருபத்தோரு தொகுதிகள் காங்கிரஸ் கட்சிக்கு அறுபத்தி மூணு தொகுதிகள் பாட்டாளி மக்கள் கட்சிக்கு முப்பது தொகுதிகள் விடுதலை சிறுத்தைகளுக்கு பத்து தொகுதிகள் கொங்கு நாடு முன்னேற்ற கழகத்திற்கு ஏழு தொகுதிகள் இந்திய யூனியன் முஸ்லீம் லீக்கு இரண்டு தொகுதிகள் 
முயற்சிகள் முன்னேற்ற கழகத்திற்கு ஸ்ரீதர் பாண்டியாருடைய அந்த இயக்கத்திற்கு ஒரு தொகுதி இப்படி இரநூத்தி எண்பத்தி நாலு தொகுதிகள் இன்றைக்கு வகுத்து வழங்கப்பட்டிருக்கின்றனர் இது இடையில ஏதோ இழுவதி தயக்கம் என்றெல்லாம் நிலை இருந்தாலும் கூட அந்த நிலையை நம்முடைய அன்புக்குரிய பத்திரிகையாளர்கள் பல பேர் மிக மிக கேவலமாக ஆத்திரத்தோடு போராளையோடு அசுவை மனப்பான்மையோடு இந்த அடி உருவாகக்கூடாது உறவு ஏற்பட்டுவிடக்கூடாது என்ற எண்ணத்தால் தவறான செய்திகளை விசித்திருப்பதுள்ள செய்திகளை நம்முடைய கழகத்துடன்கள் கலைப்படையக்கூடிய அளவுக்கு செய்திகளை வெளியிட்டார்கள் அவர்களுக்கெல்லாம் நல்ல பதிலாக இன்றைய நாள் நான் சொன்ன இந்த எண்ணிக்கை அமைந்திருக்கிறது என்றால் கருதுகின்றேன் இந்த பலத்தோடு பலம் நேரு சேர வேண்டும் என்பதற்காகத்தான் நம்முடைய முருகன் அவர்களுடைய தலைவையில் ஒரு நேரம் அல்ல இரு நேரம் அல்ல வேல்படையே குவிந்திருப்போம் இங்கே நீங்கள் குவிந்திருக்கிறீர்கள் வேல்படையாக வந்துள்ள உங்களை எல்லாம் வரவேற்கிறேன் வாழ்த்துகிறேன் தம்பி உருகன் பேசும்பொழுது நான் பேராசிரியத்திலே சொன்னேன் அவரும் அதே நேரம் என்னிடத்தில் திருடி சொன்னார் நல்ல பேச்சாளராக இருக்கிறாரே இந்த குருகர் என்று நல்ல பேச்சாளர்கள் தேவையில்லாத இடத்திலிருந்து தேவை உள்ள இடத்திற்கு அனுப்பப்பட்டிருக்கிறார் என்ற மகிழ்ச்சியோடு அவரை நான் வரவேற்கிறேன் வாய்ப்புகிறேன் திராவிட முன்னேற்ற கழகம் இன்று இந்த அணியிலே இருக்கின்ற கட்சிகள் இவர்கள்லாம் எந்த அளவுக்கு விட்டு கொடுக்கின்ற மனப்பான்மையும் தோழமை உணர்வும் நட்பு நேசம் இவைகளிலே நீங்காத பற்றும் கொண்டவர்கள் என்பதற்கு எடுத்துக்காட்டாக திமுக நூற்றி இருபது இடங்களை நூற்றி இருபத்தோரு இடங்களில் மாத்திரம் போட்டுக்கிட்டு மற்ற இடங்களில் தோழமை கட்சிகள் காங்கிரஸ் உள்ளிட்ட மொத்த கட்சிகள் போட்டியிடுகின்ற வாய்ப்பை வழங்கியிருக்கிறது என்பதை நீங்கள் எண்ணி பார்க்க வேண்டும் பாட்டாளி வங்க கட்சி முப்பத்தோரு இடங்களிலே போட்டியிடுவதாக அறிவிக்கப்பட்டிருந்தாலும் கூட காங்கிரஸ் கட்சிக்கு ஒரு இடம் தர வேண்டும் என்று நாங்கள் பாட்டாளி வங்க கட்சி தலைவர் டாக்டர் ராம ராமதாஸ் அவர்களை கேட்டுக் கொண்டிருக்கிறாங்க அவர்கள் முப்பத்தோரு இடத்துல ஒரு இடத்துல இட்டுத்திருந்து முப்பது இடங்களாக பாட்டாளி வங்க கட்சி வைத்துக் கொண்டிருக்கிறார்கள் அதே போல இந்திய யூனியன் சிறுபிக்க மூன்றே இடங்கள் தான் இருந்தன 